Hello and welcome to another episode of our Top Employers segment right here on CNBC Africa. I'm your host, Zinati Goma. Now, well, we preview companies that the Top Employers uh, Institute has certified as top employers, recognizing excellence in their HR and people practices. And uh, today, we've got a British American tobacco, and we are joined by Razia Bellat, the head of HR uh, for uh, BAT in South Africa and Eastern South Southern Africa. Welcome, uh, Rez. Thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, now, BAT is one of those companies that I've always wanted to work for, and one of the things that my peers have cited is that it actually pays pretty well. Is that true? Well, I think that's 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 one of the reasons people are attracted to us. I think yes, we uh, we tend to compare ourselves to the to, to the top uh, payers in the market. We have. Uh, uh, annually, we run surveys in the market with our peer comparators, whether it is in the FMCG, technology, and telecommunication sector, and we tend to position ourselves in the uh, medium to upper quartile of the salary range in the market. And I mean, besides the money, what is it about BAT that actually attracts people, that gets people to want to work for BAT? Well, I think uh, uh, the key things about BAT, I think a lot of people who have been in touch with us talk a lot about our culture. You will recall last year we also talked about launching our new uh, narrative, our corporate positioning of the organization in terms of what we want to elaborate as part of our culture. We talk about our ethos, where really at all levels of the organization we have this vibe where people are allowed to be bold, to be fast, to be empowered, to be responsible, and also to operate within diverse teams. So the culture is one big part of the organization. As well as, uh, I mean, today we talk about being virtual, international, and what have you. So from wherever you sit in different locations, you tend to have an international exposure and be able to learn best practices from each other across the group. Mm. And I mean, just talking about money and, you know, other things that uh, attract people to BAT, I see with a lot of my peers, uh, some people will be in a job where they're happy with the money, but they're not quite happy with the environment. And you get some people that are really, really happy with the culture and the environment, but are not happy about the money. How do you guys strike that balance between monetary satisfaction and satisfaction in other areas? Correct. I think when we talk about VAT as an employer, as part of our employee value proposition, uh, again, it's not only about the money. It's about the total uh, proposition that we have for our employees at all levels. Of course, albeit, uh, yes, people do work for a living, so money is part of this. But for us, we tend to focus on three big things, right? We tend to also focus about your own personal development and your career uh, uh, growth within the organization. We tend to focus on about providing the right culture for you to evolve, grow, collaborate, and do big things uh, within the organization and also outside of the organization. And the last but not least is also the element of exposure that we provide to our people from wherever they sit. So exposure, ability to touch and collaborate at multiple levels. I might be sat in South Africa, but I'm working with teams across the whole of Africa. I, I connect and work with the center in London. So this element of uh, scope, which is at reach without having to move a location at all times, actually is something that is also very important in our people development agenda. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us and for giving us those insights, Raz. That was Razia Bellat, the head of HR for South Africa and Eastern Southern Africa. Well, thank you for joining us on this installment of our Top Employers segment on CNBC Africa. My name is Zinati Guma and it's goodbye for now.